The Visit. With more eunuchs than any other show on Broadway. Truth. Patty and Emily thoughts and comedy from Broadway super fans. From Broadway super fans. Um, the show was cuckoo. Mostly because also I didn't know the plot going into it. That's at yeah. See, all. I did know the plot going into it. I thought this it's definitely like eccentric in style. Yeah. Um, John Doyle. This is my first John Doyle. Oh also. my god, that's intense. Yeah. Which I think for a first John Doyle is actually it's a nice ease in because I don't think as far as John Doyle goes, it was it, it wasn't too high concept. Although it was you know, wacky. Sure, it's not the most bizarre John Doe that I've ever seen. <laughs> That's true. Um, I mean, I don't know. I thought it was, like, weird, and I didn't understand the significance of most of the stuff that I didn't understand. Yeah. Like, I was like, I don't know why the significance of yellow. I don't know either. I don't understand, the, like why everyone's in crazy aged makeup, like yeah. I didn't understand the like besides that they were all poor and decrepit, well, but I, like the makeup was so severe. Well that's what I'm saying, like I understand age makeup and like poverty makeup or right. whatever you want to call it to make people but it was exaggerated. Skinner, skinnier, but yeah it was visible to the audience, it wasn't meant right. to age them without us knowing that they were aged. Right, so I was sort of confused by that. But, like, but overall, though, like, I did actually really enjoy yeah, the absolutely. show, and I enjoyed the story, and I was like, you go, girl. Mm. Kill that dude. <laughs> like, I was totes on her side. Yeah, but how do you feel about the, well, I don't know, spoiler alert, the end where it, she still is in love with him, and part of her wanting to kill him is that so she keeps him with her forever. Listen... Crazy psychological things happen to people that have been abused. Sure. Okay. That's all. I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm not going to tell her that she's a monster and that's fucked up and crazy because right. the catalyst that has led her to this end is horrifying abuse. abuse. Yeah. Okay. By him. Right. And the so, town. So fuck you. Had it coming. He had it coming. Yeah, I mean, the story is fascinating. Yeah, the story absolutely. is like when she unravels the whole story, I was like, girl! Well, yeah, and oh. she just sort of made everyone involved her bitch. <laughs> and the whole town her bitch. Yeah. Yeah. It was like such an, uh, it was, I thought it was a great, like, story of a woman that was slut shamed that then was like, suckers, I own you! Ugh, female. You slut shamed me, I own your town. I destroyed your whole town because you slut shamed me, you motherfuckers. It's great. Yeah. Enjoyed it. You go, girl. I think it's like a kooky show. Yeah. And a little bizarre and weirdo and everything, mm -hmm. but I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Mary Beth Peel is in it, so I'm mean, not <sighs> like whatever. Mary Beth Peel. I mean, the cast is phenomenal. Really great cast. Yeah. Yeah. Great cast all around. Um, yeah. I think Cheetah was phenomenal. Acting, especially, she had this beautiful dance. Which known being known as a dancer, but then obviously once you get older, it limits what you're able to do. And they worked within her abilities, yeah. and you still you still saw that that magic of Cheetah Rivera dancing on stage, but in the capacity that she's able to now, and it was beautiful. You know when you're watching a show and you're just kind of like, yeah, like I'm enjoying this. This mm -hmm. is great, and then all of a sudden you're like, ha! Huh! Like, yeah. you sit up in your seat and you pay attention mm -hmm. and you're like, some shit is going down right now. And there was some monologue she had where all of a sudden I was like, I just all of a sudden was like, Gina Rivera, seeing her, she's right there, yeah. I'm here, show, you're, oh my god, you're so fucking incredible. Yeah. And I started freaking out that it was all happening <laughs> and it was amazing. It was, yeah. She was incredible. Yay. Heartbreaking. Yeah. Heartbreaking. Yeah. She got to be the murderer in every show. Yeah. Jason Daniel Eich, who I fucking Daniel love. Lee. He was great. He was great. I yeah. would like to see him play the Roger Reese part in a in a in Yeah, a in a bunch of years. In a bunch of years. A whole I mean, mess of years. The revival yeah. in thirty years, yeah. you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, 
because I just adore him and I adore his voice and I was glad that I got to hear him sing. Yeah, um, he had a great number. Yeah, fantastic. Everybody sort of had a great number. Yeah, I mean it was a, I, I loved the ensemble feel Absolutely. of it. It was very mm -hmm. much like small and intimate and... And that everyone was on stage almost the entire time. There were yeah. a few, only a few times where People the ensemble left yeah, yeah, the yeah, stage. Yeah. yeah. Cheetah had to do a lot of walking. Yeah, a lot of walking. A lot of entering. Slow enter, walking. Slow entering. And then Good thing she had that cane. Entering. Mary Beth Peel, the most beautiful woman on earth. The most beautiful woman on earth. Great. She was great. I really, liked her character. Really, really great. Yeah. I would love to see her play Cheetah's part someday. Oh, yeah. So... Absolutely. Get on that. Um, she's just so wonderful, and she mm -hmm. played such. I thought that character had such good, like. I don't know. She was so subtle and yeah, so powerful. Absolutely. In her subtlety. Mm -hmm. And the way she just, like, took over, which I didn't even think they showed, they just mentioned it, but you could just picture Mary Beth Peel being like, you know what? Everybody's, everybody gets shit. Mm. Just. I'm opening the shop up because we're gonna kill my husband <laughs> and we're gonna get money. Ba -ba. Yeah. yeah. She's great. Mm -hmm. Abood and Elena Shadow. Siblings. Yeah. I liked that car scene. Just that side car, car scene was great. That. I'll enjoy that. You know what I wait, uh, we are gonna talk about how amazing they are. But I just really appreciated the use of the coffin. The mm. choreography and the use of the coffin. Anyway, but they were wonderful. Elena Shadow, great, everybody. Yeah. Fantastic. Enjoyed very much. Mm. Nothing? Well, I was thinking I didn't really like the coffin. Oh, really? I liked the choreography of the coffin, but I just thought it being on stage the whole time was a little heavy-handed. I liked it. Mm. I liked the way they used it. I liked the way it moved. I liked the way it moved. I, like all, I liked all of that if it weren't a coffin. Mm. Alright. Differences of opinion. <laughs> Well, we can agree that Elena Shadow is amazing. Oh, she's she amazing. Was fantastic, and I, I was very happy to get to hear her sing. Mm -hmm. More, mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. I really watched her a lot during that Yellow Shoes number. Mm. I was watching her. Well, I was watching Mary Beth Peel mm. during the Yellow mm -hmm. Shoes scene. Yeah. When they were all getting their new shoes. Mm -hmm. I loved that line that Jason had about his shoes not being quite yellow enough. I actually noticed that. Right, because I had noticed it too. I was like, who's like, getting those weird loafers? He's wearing tan loafers, and everybody else was wearing like yellow bright yellow, shoes. sometimes sparkly shoes. Well, Elena had the best shoes. Yeah. She had That's, the best yeah. shoes. Yeah. Elena's like, shoes were gorgeous. The lashes. It was funny. Yeah. It was great. It was great. Well, the true star of the show was the set. Oh my god. <laughs> I like walked into the theater and was like, ah, ah, ah. like it looked so cool. Like that was so the, great. the depth of it mm -hmm. was beautiful. Like it was so simple, just worked and was gorgeous. Like yeah. give me ten minutes on that set for oh playtime. I just yeah, wanna run I, I wanna run. And I was really excited because yes. I when I, at first I was like, if they don't use that second level, I'm yeah. gonna be so upset. And then they did. Sure. I'm happy about it. Yeah. And the ceiling <gasps> part so of it cool. was like a domed I think it was supposed to be a train station. Yeah. They yeah. meet her at the station. It was so cool. Uh, and obviously it's a like a down on its luck town. So it the, was the detail of the vines. The vines, like it was being taken over by nature and then the ceiling was all broken glass. And the lighting. That is what I was gonna say, because you ha can't like coupled with the set was the lighting. Yes, the lighting, the set would be nothing without its lighting. Yeah. I mean the way the, the lighting was coming from above, mm -hmm. the way it played with, oh this window's broken and this window's mm -hmm. not. Ah! Brilliant lighting design. Brilliant. It was fantastic. Brilliant. You know what else was good? The fucking sound design. Yeah. Fucking sound design was great. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Brilliant. back to lighting for a second, because there were so many people on stage, a lot of the, not so many, it's a small cast, but because the ensemble was on stage for most of the show, there was like a lot of really good focus work. Here's where you're supposed to be looking, but you can see every, you know, everybody yeah. else is still around, and if you want to, because one of our favorite things to do is to watch ensemble yeah, members right. when they are not the focus, you're still able to do that. Because you know what I noticed? Was background, real tear realness, yeah. from both, wait, it was Elena Shadow was crying, and John Riddle, Ugh. real tear realness, background, weren't, they weren't even, they were sitting on the side, both of them, real tears happening. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. 
That cast is keeping the hundred. Cast was fantastic. Costumes. Great costumes. The costumes were, were so great. great. Specific. I like that Jason Daniel he was just always wearing that graduation cap and gown. Well, because he was a professor. <laughs> well, professor it was great. Academics but, like, it was cool because the whole concept is that the town is, like, has been so fucked for so yeah. long. But, like, because this important thing is happening, it's like... You know, it's like that thing where you're Put like, I don't, Sunday best. right, yeah. and it's and they're like, I don't have any Sunday best because I'm so poor and I've been so poor, and he's like, the best thing I have is this <laughs> cap and gown, yeah. and like the mayor was like, the best thing I have is this fucked up fur lined horrible coat jacket yeah. thing that's totally falling apart. Um, so I love that. Mm. Chris Newcomer and Matthew Deming played the eunuchs. They had crazy names though: Jacob Chicken and Lewis Perch. Which I didn't remember Lewis. I had to look that one up in the in the playbill. But I did. I was like, that guy's last name is Chicken. All right. The I was confused by their whole thing. Yeah. I, until it kind of got until explained. there was a, a yeah um, a reveal. I didn't understand the makeup or anything. I didn't but I did makeup. love what they were doing. I right. I know. <laughs> like I, know. I was like, I don't know why it's, it's happening. Hating. I don't really understand it, but I love it. Also. I, Again, I'm not a person who needs to hum a song after you leave the musical, <laughs> but I have had their like, do, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 completely. I saw that. Totally. They're like, From Broadway Superfans. That whole thing was strange and I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Two thumbs up.